I was in a coaching session with one of my lovely clients the other day and she was talking about one of the biggest changes or one of the things that have um, been kind of the biggest impact of doing all the mindset work that she's been doing with me and, and all the stuff she you know does outside of our sessions, all the stuff that she does as a result of them, but also off her own back, choosing to continue to grow and to develop and to look into mindset and do the work. And I just thought it was such a beautiful thing. I wanted to share it. She said that one of the biggest differences in her now compared to where she was maybe a year ago or before that is that she is so much better now at not making everything mean something about her. And I just want to kind of let that settle with you for a second. Not making everything mean something about her. Because what's kind of crazy about this mind we have and particularly our unconscious mind that we kind of live in most of the time it controls all of our programs and patterns and beliefs and you know things from the past memories but also our ego our egoic mind that kind of talks between our conscious and unconscious and is there as this present form of i am this thing and therefore I am above or below someone else and in order to be an I there has to be an other in some way and the ego's job and therefore often unconscious programming we get into tells us that everything means something about us that's its job everything means something about us so you say something and my mind's job is to try and work out how that must mean something about me. So you say I'm tired and my mind's job is to try and work out, particularly the ego, its job is to try and work out what that must mean about me. And we can then tell ourselves these stories. We don't even consciously recognize it a lot of the time. We have these unconscious stories going on about how you saying you're tired might actually have something to do with me. Oh, are you somehow trying to say that maybe I'm boring <laughs> you know you're with me and you're saying you're tired and so does that mean that is it because I'm boring or you're tired does that mean that um you know should should I be tired am I not doing enough and you know because I feel awake uh, is there something wrong with me because I'm not tired in the way you're tired like just all these crazy stories right these crazy stories and again, I'm not saying that consciously you're always aware of them, but there are always stories running through our unconscious and our ego mind trying to make everything about us. And then, of course, there are things that people say or people do or we experience that seem obviously about us, you know, direct comments they make to us about us that, of course, I immediately then try and, you know, see how that means something about me or some event happens or some circumstance happens and it directly affects me or at least it feels like it directly affects me in my mind and so I'm making that mean something about me. It's one of the things that that really can keep us keep us stuck, keep us in a space, there's a fly, fly flying around, can keep us in a space of feeling anxious, feeling concerned, feeling frustrated, feeling overwhelmed, feeling sad, feeling unhappy. And the crazy thing is, it's all a story. It's all just a story in our minds. You saying something, my mind has to work out how that means something about me. You doing something, my mind has to make that mean something about me. You know, my dad and mum splitting up when I'm three years old, 
my mind has to make that mean something about me that's its job the ego is trying to make that mean something about me and of course when we're not consciously aware of that when we just allow that to happen and that kind of program to run on default generally the things we make it mean about us are negative things generally we we get this icky feeling or this sad feeling or even a really strong intense negative feeling because we've allowed a story to play out that it means that i am not enough in some way that i'm not worthy i'm not lovable i'm not i don't deserve i don't deserve something whatever it is i've had to make it mean something about me And so when we can get to a point where we truly can just hear what other people say, see their actions, take our own actions, see and experience the events that happen around us, and we can be awake. That's what it is, be awake to the fact that this doesn't have to mean anything about me doesn't have to it doesn't it, it it's not only doesn't have to it doesn't it doesn't mean anything about me it's just a thing it's just there it's just neutral and i can choose the story i tell myself about it and that story doesn't actually have to do anything to have have anything to do with me it doesn't have to and if it does, I can tell myself a story that it has something positive to do about me or just something neutral to do about me. It doesn't have to mean anything. So I'm just wondering how often you feel those feelings of stress, anxiety, panic, worry, sadness, frustration, anger, you know, those feelings that don't really feel that good to us. Because I guarantee every single time you feel one of those feelings, every single time, it is because you are making something external to you or even internal to you mean something about you. And if you can drop that story, if you can even just wake up for a moment to the fact that that is just a story you're telling yourself and drop that wow it's it's such a beautiful thing and just like chatting to this client about it you know she she was saying that's been one of the biggest things and ways that this mindset work has impacted her but it doesn't mean that it's always right it doesn't mean that now she's going through life and everything's perfect and she doesn't have to continue working on herself and her own personal growth and noticing and looking at her mind and having great daily practices but it's that wonderful place to be where you really have woken up to it you've woken up to this dream that we're kind of living in that everything means something about me and therefore i'm hurt or upset or worried about the potential for everything around me when you've woken up to the fact that that is just a dream it is just a story then the amazing thing is that even when you notice yourself going back into the dream you you can snap yourself out of it you can snap yourself out of it you can snap yourself like that out of sadness and anger and frustration and overwhelm and panic and worry and you can come back to a place that at best feels bloody amazing and at worst just feels neutral. Neutral is pretty good, right? Something to think about. What are you making things mean about you? Just take some time over the next day or so to notice and see if just by noticing that you are telling yourself a story about what someone else has done or said or the experience or event around you. Just see whether you can attempt to drop that story. 
and come back to a place of neutrality is that a word <laughs> inside you or even a place of feeling good try it out thanks so much for watching my video make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when i create more videos which i do every couple of weeks and also head over to my website because there's loads of amazing free content on there for you and there is also a fantastic free workshop mini series at the moment called living on purpose which is all about getting clarity and kind of thinking about your purpose and just having a moment to really get clear on where you're going from a place that's aligned to who you truly are so check that out on my website i'll put the details below and i'll see you again next time take care